Uh, and I died. <laughs> <laughs> We back on some Max Payne. Let's get this thing started. And I pressed the wrong button. And they go come out the wood. Nice shot. Kill to all of them, let's go. <laughs> there was an old <laughs> switchboard in the back room of the reception area. Sorry. The kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines. The blood veins of New York. <laughs> Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, I got you. There's Max Payne. He came, started capitals. He killed him. Oh. Are you freaking kidding me? It's just one lousy cop. You better be freaking kidding me. Whack him. What's the freaking problem? Hello? Answer me. Hello? The word was out. A this sounded like a straight bit. The city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. The switchboard was still in use. Beretta. Okay, switch to the Beretta. Because they gave me that damn egg group. Hey, nothing but a killing dang baby. A real nigga showing that these niggas crazy. I'll probably win. Let's go, let's go, let's go, big buck. Big buck. Oh, I lost. Fuck y'all. Yeah. I can't, I can't see, I can't see. Oh, oh. Ah. I got this lousy ass Ingram. Let me get the hell out of here. Let me tell you what this time. <coughs> we killed other sons of bitches. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. 
Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were gonna get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's suit. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. Kaboom. Another bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. Let's get back in this bitch. Uh, they got be with the shitty I don't want to tell you. I don't know, man. I, I don't know about this. Quit worrying, man. Eh? Think of it as Christmas. The Russians are with Santa. Hey! Oh! Ah! Almost died. That's okay. What the hell? Okay. Let's go around the corner. The headlines were a depressing read. Let's see what's going on here. What? Kill some crazy nuts. Sweet girl. I live way off. The whole building was rigged with explosives. <laughs> the 
whole building was rigged with explosives. phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. This mystery nigga. The cops arrived. Sirens singing in the off-key harmony of a manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. That's bad. Ice! Without a key, I'd never get past this door. Someone had left a letter on the counter. There was a key on the shelf. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gagmidi was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left, and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far, and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. Let the guns do the talking. That's what I do. I let the guns do the talking. It's marked out 35 till you face block it. <laughs> No key, no lock in. She says she love this, no talking. Uh, all these bitches on TikTok. Oh, oh shit. Nigga, try to get me in down.
what you get for snooping around. I know your ass is coming. So this just touching. Oh, it's this stupid mall. Stupid mall. I don't know why you flying around here. I'm just gonna get on that room. Uh, and I died. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I was like, yeah, and I died. I gotta go do this shit again. Watch this thing and draw the bomb now. They risk a little. It's just the message. Not the fuck. Oh. Oh. I know you got dressed up for the club. Waiting for a nigga to come pick you up. I was about to fall. Now where I'm supposed to go. I just want you. <sighs> that was so funny. I, can't, I died twice. Trying to jump over that banister. The bombs had destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. It's never been this cold. Never ever. It's like the sky's falling. Yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I don't feel fine. I don't feel anything. Not a thing. I'm freezing my butt off.
I'm so sorry, yo. But y'all had I had to put y'all out y'all misery, I was complaining so much. Don't do that again. Oh my enemy rats. To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. Pizza delivery. Never seen you before. Buzz off, Joker. You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, no, no. The laundry, yeah. I know him, yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. Goddamn chapters they got in God they go episode one. It's me. Open up. Let me in quick. Not so fast. The password. John who? Come on. Okay, John Wu. All right. Come right in. It's a trust! Hey. It's hey. pain! Ah. Ah. Yeah, it's pain. It's like ready white. No pain, no gain. No pain, no pain, no gain. No pain. No pain. No gain. There was a there was an old woman sitting under the tree. She told me things that what do we do? She said my time here is not long. I wanna say I wanna waste my time telling you nothing wrong. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. She said she. Uh, in California, we ride in California. Cha cha. Uh, 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 uh. Nice music. Yeah. New York City is in crisis tonight, with reports of Valkyrie-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious Mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert, 
A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Bravura has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NY CNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. Kira Silver, give me your number. Hey! I say hey. And I wasn't even over here for like two seconds. Nasty. You even flush the toilet. You not even wash your hands. You just nasty. Because if that boy not working, but it is someone not. who looks the part down to the finest detail, except that he's evil. I'm hiding in the shadows, watching it all unfold. The flamingo speaks. He can speak here. It says, Mirrors are more fun than television. That's mirrors are more fun than television. Somehow I know this, just don't ask me how. <laughs> this is a weird show they're watching. And I, not me, but my double. Nods and smirks at this like it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> and then something goes wrong. And suddenly they know I'm there, hiding behind them, and they both turn to look. Huh? Red, blue, or green? It's always red or blue. Ah! I didn't do nothing. Fix your aim, boy. Fix your aim, boy. Where am I supposed to be going? Three goons. 
Berettas. My favorite crumpled letter lay on Gagnini's desk. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gagnini had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. I love Jack Lupino. If he a psycho, I'm a psycho. Okay, everything is locked. Is this up? Vinny Gagnini was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in the stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gagnini would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. No, son of a bitch. He was quick. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gagnini would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. Take a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Gagnini hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Still made it. The fuck? Oh no, I did it. Okay, this is the last time I'm doing this thing. A crumpled letter. <laughs> the letter was addressed to Don Lay on Gagnini's desk. Vinny Gagnini was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gagnini would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. might have to follow his lead. Man, this is bull. I'm trying to <coughs> get to that park. Come on, come on. We're gonna we're gonna do this the last time. If I had to it's the last time we die.
Oh, I killed him. Vinny Gogniti was really scared. He could run, but with a bullet in the stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gogniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. All you had to do was jump on the train, Max Payne. I'd have to follow his lead. Man, come on. Okay, this is the last time. I promise this is the last time I'm doing this shit. Vinny Gogniti was really scared. He could run, but with a bullet in the stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gogniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. might have to follow his lead. Finally. <laughs> this was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and the dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gogniti made his move. This dude did a back, a front flip, somersault. Did a front flip. Summer up. <laughs> what the hell? I don't think I already in red. Okay, we're gonna stop it right there.